Good morning to everybody that follows us for the message of the day. I am Roman Leonato. I am speaking today from the Ashram for Unfoldment in Asturias, Spain. Today is February 20 and the title of the message for today is You were born to enjoy. We were all born to enjoy. Suffering only exists when we compare the present with the past or with the future. Never if we live in the unity of the moment. <coughs> in, in the moment, in the unity of the moment, in the instant that is the only existence that is there. If you take away all the judgmental analysis that the mind can do and you just stay with your feeling and your easiness and you just flow with your actions, there is never a problem, there is no suffering, even in the worst circumstances. Even to eat bread, you need external help a knife to cut it into slices. Everything requires an external force. Even so, at some point you will have to realize that the external force and the internal force are the same. When that awareness comes, all friction disappears because the cause of all problems is duality. We live in the idea that what surrounds us and us are different things. That is why we enter into conflict with things. But you are surrounded by yourself. You don't have a separate existence. You cannot exist without the air, you cannot exist without the flowers and the gardens and the vegetables and the, the things you eat. You cannot exist without your peers. You exist because everything around you exists. And everything around you exists because you exist. And there is no difference because what you are and what surrounds you is exactly the same thing. But duality arises when you feel yourself different to what surrounds you. Then you have things that, you know, you don't need, maybe, or things you want. <laughs> and then you enter into conflict. The mind has expected too much or too little from the other person. But if there are no expectations, then love would never bring suffering. When preconceived ideas cease, all suffering is relieved. Preconceived ideas, you know, we have so many preconceived ideas of what should, things should be. Through its heat, the sun extracts water vapor, which turns into clouds and makes the dark day down here. Can we call the clouds back because they block the sun? No. In the same way we define good and evil, perfection and imperfection in all things. Look at the beauty and look at the revolutionary aspect that this has, which is in the essence of the teachings we teach. We don't teach morality we teach purity, good and evil, dark and light, perfection and imperfection, the clouds and the sun belong one to the other and both are needed. And when we regard things like that, 
then you see the beauty about things, not the judgment you have about things. You were not born to be miserable. You were not born to suffer. You are the child of joy, created in joy for joy. When you were conceived, what did your parents do? And wasn't this, in some way, an action of joy for them? It may have been the joy of love, or it may have been the joy of lust, but the essence of joy was there when you were conceived. So think about this concept. Your essence is joy. So why do we suffer? We suffer because of our preconceived ideas. We suffer because we compare the past to the future or the future to the present and we are trying to achieve something. We suffer because we think we are different to what surrounds us when what surrounds us and what we are is exactly the same thing. So for today, and remember, it's only one day, it's only one practice. Be aware of how your preconceived ideas of how things should be affect how your day is by bringing suffering into your day. And observe that when you don't put any preconceived idea or you don't make any comparison between the present and the future and the past and if you just flow in the present moment suffering is not there and you can get out enjoyment of whatever situation or action or circumstance in which you are involved so remember it's only one day it's only one practice, it's just for today. Tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow will be another practice. Have a beautiful day today. Namaste.